Storm preparation. What do you need to know and what should we do about it? Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Rennick. I am the senior broker, the team lead of Team Rennick Real Estate Services, part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family, serving Sarasota, Bradenton, and the entire west coast of Florida. Welcome to the October 19th edition of Insurance Time. With me is Michael Malliard. He is the owner agent of MIC Insurance out here on Longboat Key and also one of the most knowledgeable insurance people person that I've ever met. Michael, good morning. Good morning. We're going to talk about storm preparation, which is very <laughs> appropriate for this time of year and yes. this part of the country. Yes. So go ahead. Well, we're going to start really by documentation. Um, my best recommendation for uh, preparing for a upcoming hurricane event is pre-planning. And that pre-planning will involve number one, choosing the top 20 or 40 emotionally important things in your home that you need to take when you leave or find a better way to protect. So you're talking about having the list ready ahead having of time. Having the list wow. uh, well Makes in sense. advance. Makes sense. Okay, number two, uh, I want all clients uh, to protect themselves correctly, to take a digital camera and do a digital photo diary of all of their belongings. Now, this sounds somewhat onerous, but it's not. Uh, with the digital camera and the uh, quick bounce back speed of cameras today, you can take a picture every six to eight seconds. You can do a 2,000 square foot home in 45 minutes or less. And I'm talking detail. I'm talking opening every drawer. Pull the drawer open, click a picture. Don't think about the value in the drawer. It's all about the cumulative effect of value, okay? Mm -hmm. People say, well, don't take pictures of my, my tool area. Well, yes, it's value. Don't take pictures of my clothing. Well, it's value. I want pictures literally of everything in the house. Uh, I want those photos then either emailed directly back to the client themselves mm -hmm. so that they have a permanent record of those photos. It is very easy with a picture to say, I had Grandpa Joe's uh, desk. Mm -hmm. What did it look like? Well, here's a picture. So now I can establish value. I can establish replacement value. Uh, I can establish that you owned it when that house is truly gone. So a digital photo diary of your all of your interior belongings and any unusual fixtures or features of your home should be photographed and maintained so that you can get to them appropriately without dragging things around the country. So let, let's talk about the camera and it takes time to do this. Smartphones have great cameras today. They do. So if you use your smartphone and you shoot all these photographs, that will suffice? That would, but my only concern is how can you, in a, in a reasonable sense, transfer those photos individually to a longer lasting system, okay? Uh, if I do it in a, a disk drive, I can make a couple of copies of the disk drive and right. keep it. Uh, I could have the plug the phone into, uh, uh, or excuse me, the phone or the computer or the digital camera into my computer and transfer those photos. And, okay. a, and a phone has the same technique yes, as a yeah, way to do right, that. Right, right. So. So, so my take, how you take them, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But having that list, because what you will be handed at time of loss and this is really any loss, is a blank sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. And the company is going to ask you what you own. Right. Now, if I take a photo of a closet uh, and I take photo of the clothing, it may end up being a vehicle for counts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good I might point. have 50 tops at $75 to $125 a piece. I might have 30 belts. Uh, but these are things that we accumulate over a long period of time that we don't associate with direct value. But at time of loss, having to replace all of those items so, is well, the goal. It's easy to procrastinate and not do this. In of fact, course. I am personally guilty of that. What happens at time of loss when these records don't occur? The clients are really reliant upon their memory to generate that list, which I believe is going to lead to 50% of memory failure. Okay, that makes and, sense. And they're not going to get paid for items they don't remember. If I had to go through my master closet right now from here and itemize everything in there, I, I don't think I could do but that. But I'm not looking for you to do that. All I want is a picture. 
That's why I'm saying exactly. that's why it's so exactly. important what you're sharing. With a photo, we can go back to it later. Yep. And then we make our itemized yeah. list, knowing that these photos may hopefully may never come into play in a particular home setting. Uh, lastly, I'll talk about area, and I'm talking really about your structure and the area around it. Uh, anything that is not tied down that is laying in your front side or backyard is going to be a missile in a hurricane setting. Good point. So tree trimming, uh, proactive, which Michael, I'm sure you would uh, concur, we've seen dramatic tree trimming changes this year on Longbow Key Absolutely. compared to prior years. Because after Irma, it became clear that properties where the trees were cut back from the structure, mm -hmm. they did not suffer damage. Correct. And other properties that had done a poor job of that had substantial issues. That's right. Not necessarily from the wind directly to their building, but from flying debris, tree limbs, etc. Mm -hmm. So having that sort of policing the outside area in your home uh, to prevent uh, damage that we can really put away. Let's put away all that outside stuff. Let's throw the chairs in the in the pool. We don't want stuff flying around. So preparation, uh, documentation, and the ability to retrieve that info. Now, lastly, I, I have many clients talk to me about, Mike, I'm heading north. I'm, I'm fleeing a storm. I need to take all of my important documents. Well, this is something that I say I, I somewhat chuckle because my perspective is six months ago, you should have emailed scanned and emailed yeah, all of those yeah. documents to yourself so you have to take no paper there's not there you don't need to take paper so 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 when you do the photographs and you do the scanning like you're talking about you can save it on your computer if you have a computer that may or may not go with you you can put it up to the cloud the google exactly. cloud there's so many different ways and actually i would argue as an it person that i'd want a copy on my laptop and up in the cloud right and it's easy to do that we can provide information on how to get free access to space in the cloud but like mike is saying these are things that we hope we never need right so we keep procrastinating so let me give you my opinion the best time to do this was a year ago the second best time is today, today. get it done this today. weekend right because mike you can't do a really good job for me in terms of loss if I can't remember the assets and the material that I own. And I came from tornado world where there was no warning. Now, I will say this last storm, Michael, uh, was an unusual one in the sense that very little time prep was available. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it, it popped up quickly and hit shore within three days. Now, in a normal uh, Florida hurricane setting, we may have five to seven days of advance warning. I'm not saying put it off, but this has got to be one of the things that people do. In my old tornado world in Iowa, uh, my clients without the list, I believe would get 35 to 45% of their contents because they just didn't remember the rest. No, nope. but I'm from the Michigan area of the United States. Same thing. Sometimes you were lucky to have seconds notice of a uh, um, twister on the ground. Right. So here we have more time to plan, but when there's a forecasted hurricane and it's out in the Gulf and there's a probability it could hit our area in a, in a few days, that's not the time it's to not start the time. this. No, the, the, now is the time. Take a, take a 45 minute to an hour time frame once in your life and do these photos. Because once your base contents are documented, uh, taking photos of additions are easy. And your photos will help generate memory of everything else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you look at a photo in the room, you think, well, I replaced that painting with this painting. Mm -hmm. Okay. These photos are imperative to generate the highest return at time of claim. And from a nostalgia point of view, after you do this 20 years down the road, 30 years down the road, whatever, you can look back and it'll bring back all kinds of family memories. Oh, yes. And, uh, you can laugh at the clothes we used to wear back then. Right? Well, I think that in a digital sense, the documentation issue, if you take photos of a bookcase on digital, you can zoom in and read all the titles. Correct. I mean, the, the level of detail available uh, from a digital photo diary is extreme and wonderful. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. 
So if you want more information, Mike, what's your phone number? 941-504-2272 is my cell. Office 941-554-8909. If I can be of help, my personal cell is 941-400-8735. This is the October 19th edition of Insurance Time with Mike and Mike. Again, Michael, thank you. Outstanding. I think this is one of the better sessions we've had in terms of providing information. I think this, uh, people who take advantage of this idea will clearly see a return if and when that bad day happens. And I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. I know your desk is full today. Yes, it is. Thanks, Michael. Thank you.